Hey guys, so we're here to pre-plan the week of January 30th through February 5th in my classic happy planner using this kit from bpdshot.com. Go to, um, if you go there and use Sassy Steph, you can save 15% and you get my PR freebie. So um, I have a couple kits that I got from her, which is her non-traditional Valentine stuff that I'm going to use throughout the month of February because they're just too good not to. And I think some of the kits that I picked are going to be like perfect for um, the birthday style stuff that I want to have because I have a lot of birthdays coming up and I actually have a bunch of them all in one week. So... Oh, that's a little too far over. That's okay. Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful. Because remember, this kit is made for a standard vertical. Did I put... No, I didn't put it. So it's... It's anticipating the extra gaps that are just not in a happy planner. So keep that in mind. But they can be used. And as you guys know, I normally cut my bottom washi to go halvesy. But I want to use foil this week. And I'm going to use silver foil because I think silver would look really good against these colors. Yep. That I cut through. No, I made a little little indent, but and nothing big. Okay, so how are y'all doing? So a little update in my world: the doggo doesn't get up in the middle of the night at all anymore. At all. So that is amazing, right? Super amazing. So as usual, the music is by my friend. He's actually in the process of rebranding. So, you know, right now it's currently DJ, DJ Daddy, but he wants to rebrand. He wants to change it up. So I'm not sure what his new name is going to be. And as soon as he tells me, I'll tell y'all. Oh, I shot everything over. That's okay. Um, and I'm super supportive of my friend because you know what? I just want to see him be successful, right? Like, why wouldn't I want him to be successful? Um, he has decided, you know, he's going to... Um, do more music because it was just a hobby but he really loves it so he's, he wants to do more with it and you know he he wants to rebrand and he's putting out more more and more tracks so normally I just have one track that I put on repeat but right now he has eight tracks out so I'm just playing all eight tracks like I have that on shuffle and repeat for y'all um because why not, right? So like this one is called Hydro Pump My Heart. I think it's really fun, you know? And he's on SoundCloud. I know I need to fix my description box from last week and make sure I put it in there and make sure I put in my description box for this week as well. So you guys can check them out, give them some love. You know, leave comments on his SoundCloud, what you like, what you think could be a little different. Oh, there we go. And let him know, Sassy Stephanie sent you. So this one, this one's super cool. It's called uh, Cyndaquil Stream Challenge. He made this for a streamer on Twitch named, Cynd he goes by the name Cyndaquil. 
and he was having a challenge to get subscribers and he made his own little song. He also makes the song for the, the A1 Twins Rock Paper Scissors Tournament. That's another thing that he does as well. Um, he's made me a couple tracks, like just little snippets, like little things, be like, hey, you know. And I love him for it. Like he's such a sweetheart, okay? So he works full time. He works on music full time. Pretty stellar dude. So check him out. As usual, well, not as usual. Well, as usual, a Nightmare Before Christmas cup, but that cup, Sweet Bean Plans, love it. Okay. So I realized last week when I did my videos, I'm like, the music was so low. To me, it wasn't super low, but to you guys, the music was low. So I was like, you know, let me turn the music up a little bit more this week. And maybe, maybe you guys can hear it better. So we'll try. And my friend was like, oh, I can send you the audio files so you can, because I, you know, like I said, I asked him if I can put him in my videos. And he's like, well, I can send you the audio files. I said, I actually have your music playing while I'm planning. So I like to have it going while I'm sitting here and I'm listening to it and I'm talking to you guys. And we're just, we're just listening to it together in real time. That's what I like. And he's like, okay. And thank you to anyone who has gone and checked it out previously from my stream, uh, not my stream, from my videos, because now he can monetize his songs, which is amazing, because he's getting the exposure and he's getting the listens. And you know what? That's huge for a small creator, right? It's huge. So I appreciate anyone who has gone and listen to his music. It encourages him to create more. And, you know, I've given him the lecture, you know, make sure you have, you save tax money and this and that. And it's all stuff that, you know, I've had to learn um, if I ever get to the point where like my YouTube monetizes. Um, if my YouTube ever monetizes, you know, there's certain things you have to make sure you do, right? You know, you got to pull taxes and make sure you're covered. So I just was like, you know, these are just some things, you know, keep in mind. And he's like, okay, cool. You know, I always recommend and 30% if you're an independent contractor and you're new and you're, especially if you're small and you're not like a small business, um, because, you know, I would assume a small business would do like their research on what it is. But like, if I have friends that are like just starting out or doing something, I was like, you know, put 30% away for taxes, you know, always 30% away for taxes, um, uh, quarterly taxes, doing quarterly taxes, will also help instead of doing it all at once. Especially if you're making any kind of real income, quarterly taxes help a lot. So that's just, you know, that's just my two cents. Might not be a lot of cents, but you know, those are my two cents. You know, save all your receipts. If I like was super serious about this channel, then, you know, I'd be doing quarterly taxes with all the stuff that I purchase for my channel. And honestly, it's just an outlet. It's a creative outlet. I'm happy with the community that I do have. So... I love you guys, you know? And it's probably silly, but like there's been a couple times where I thought, you know what? I just, I'm not going to make content anymore. I just, it's just not in me to keep making content. 
and then I'm like, oh, well, I'll miss talking with my friends or, you know, I, I have to promote Melissa's shop. And there are other ways that I can promote her shop as a PR girl. I don't have to make videos, but like in my mind, the videos are like the easiest way for me to promote and for you to see how someone uses the stickers. And I'm like, and she deserves that promotion, y'all. Because one, she ships so fast. And if for whatever reason there's going to be a delay of some kind, she tells you, hey, I'm doing this, I'm gonna be gone for this, this is the day that your orders will actually ship out. Like, super transparent. And I love that. I mean, where else do you get that, right? You know, the, the, the big timers, their websites are like, you know, four to six weeks processing. Who's got time for that? Okay, I don't post plan, okay? I don't memory keep, I pre-plan. So like, it can be super annoying that I have to buy kits months in advance. If I'm really in love with the kit, I know I can't, I, I'm typically if I'm buying from one of those big name brands, I am buying that kit for the next year, not this year. I'm like, oh man, I'd really love that for whatever. And then I use it the next year. I don't even use it in the same calendar year because I just, I can't. Because they don't typically ship quick enough. And I'm not saying, oh, you know, that's terrible. No, that's not terrible. That's the way they do business. And I know that. I know that that's the way that they do business. So it's buyer beware, right? I get it. And I'm not saying not to shop there um, because I do shop at some of the big names. I mean, like I have Pretty Pinko right here. I just know it's gonna take me a little bit. And some shops take a lot longer. I mean, I get it, they're super popular. They do thousands in sales and like Lunar New Year. I don't know if shops don't realize that that date, Lunar New Year changes every calendar year. Cause there was just nothing available for when I needed it um, for my planner. So what did I do? I did a non-traditional Lunar New Year kit. Also, so uh, I'm not gonna show you last, last week's plan with me, how it's looking. Cause I really loved it when I laid it down and then I hate how it looks. So how it's turning out so we're just gonna pretend that never happened right <sighs> for my sanity we're just gonna pretend it never happened okay um okay we're actually going to use those for my work. These are just date covers from Rose Color Days, but I am going to use them as boxes. Because you know what? You can use them for whatever it is that you want. Oh man. Did I want to go grab headers? Those are too bright pink. Those are all just too happy. I will need those. I 
I'm gonna use those on the bottom washi. Okay, so. I should have thought this out a little bit more prior to starting, so I do apologize. It just hit me that I want some headers. And everything else is a mess right now, so. I'm gonna grab my headers folder. I still love thin headers, but I don't think I'm gonna bother cutting headers today. Um, I don't remember where these are from. They might be from um, Pretty Cute Planner, actually. I got these a years ago. Work's actually been crazy this week, this past week. Um, there were a couple days where I actually had to leave my home office. And by the time I got back home, uh, my brain was uh, dead in the water. I just couldn't function, which is crazy to me, right? Like, whew, it was bad. Come on. Okay, there we go. Um, I have not been that mentally drained in a long time. And I still have a bunch of reports that I have to do. And because Wednesday and Thursday were pretty, pretty jam packed. And my boss knows I haven't written my reports up yet. Um, and he's fine with it. So I'll write my reports up on Monday. Um, I have actually a couple. <sighs> I have a couple things scheduled for Monday, but all of Monday is literally just scheduled for me scheduled to get those reports taken care of and then I have to try to make a bunch more appointments to do some things so I'm gonna be drained on Monday too by the time my 10 hours are up I'm gonna tell you that right now um come on fingers there we go I'm not going to be able to move Thursday, but I want them centered this week. And these are from Sticky Sloth Designs. Every once in a while, Allie opens up for work. Nope, that's just going to look gross. Never mind. Never mind. Um, every once in a while, Allie look, um, opens up for work. Um, if you guys didn't know, she had started nursing school. And she's just an all-around awesome person. You can still catch her on Instagram. And you can still catch her in her Facebook group. And she went from a full-time shop owner to a full-time student. Because that's what makes her happy. And we... Come on, fingers. We support someone being happy. So I have some old baby monitors um, and my dad and I were setting them up to watch my dog in my front yard and I have to say it is working out quite nicely. Uh, we're still working a little bit on angles but it's working out quite nicely. Uh, I will say this is not working out exactly how I envisioned it but it's too late. it's not sorry sorry guys it's just not <sighs> it 
This is not making me happy. And after last week's planner disaster where I thought I was going to love it and I don't, I just can't. So... We're gonna see if I have some boxes in here that like are vibing. Oh, you know what? Mm, that reminds me, I need to get on the schedule of my massage therapist. I'm probably gonna, I need, I need to get on his schedule. I'm gonna have to text him. Now, it's such a habit for me to use boxes for things. I should have just let this just be a free. Yeah, I am not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try so hard, you guys. I'm not gonna use boxes this week. I know you've seen me like do this like 17 times. I'm not gonna do boxes this week. We're going to just let it go it's gonna force me to be a little bit more creative we're just gonna let it go we're just gonna let it go yep okay so the uh, kit bpdshop.com use sassy stuff save 15 percent get my a pr freebie um thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye